Here's a story. In 2005, the college board decided that people didn't really like their SAT anymore. So they changed it and they released a new version. It went from 1600 points to 2400 points. They changed a lot of different sections, added new things in, took things out. And 10 years later, they realized that people liked it even less. Now more people take the ACT than the SAT. And so the college board has decided for the second time in 10 years that they're going to radically change their test again. They're going back to 1600 points, they're getting rid of a few things, they're making the essay optional, and they're trying it out again. The real lesson here is that the new SAT is basically like a watered down version of the current ACT. It's a lot like the new Coke fiasco, if you're aware of that whole situation. Basically, they see that their competitor is doing better, so they're copying their competitor with a few small differences. But really, you don't care why this is changing or what the background history is, you care about what you should do about it. And fortunately, that's really simple. Below, you'll see a link to my new SAT versus ACT guide, and that's going to show you exactly how to choose between these two exams. No matter who you are, choosing the best test for you is the best thing you can do if you want the highest comparative scores possible. Because at the end of the day, all you want to do is focus your energies on one test, the test that's easiest for you to take and gives you the best competitive score, and then put all your energy into it, get the best score possible, and wash your hands of the process. That's all there is to it. So basically, all you need to know about the new SAT is that it really doesn't resemble the old SAT at all anymore. If you want to understand the new SAT, look at the ACT, subtract the science section, and give yourself more time per problem, and there you have it. I can almost not tell the difference between the new SAT and the ACT anymore, except that the fonts are different. It's that similar. So what you really want to do is start studying immediately, no matter what, on a light, consistent basis. Take a look at my new SAT versus ACT guide, choose the test that's best for you, and then launch in. There's really no need to panic about this thing, even though it's been really built up uh, in the media and elsewhere is this thing that you really need to panic about. It's pretty simple. It's just sort of a marketing move on the part of the college board. But if you choose the right test, you'll be able to knock it out of the park and you don't have to worry about the process at all.